Messages left behind on two Oregon businesses. And now the state's coalition against hate crime says it's seen a spike in that kind of behavior. It's not just happening here, but all around the country. Our Cole Miller is live now in the newsroom going beyond the headlines. Cole? Well, Jennifer, Jeff, unfortunately, crimes like these aren't anything new. And an expert here tells me there is a way to combat this kind of thing. A collective voice standing up and saying, not in our backyard. This is definitely something that needs to be addressed, and it needs to be addressed now. Frustration tonight for business owners in Eugene, painting over unwanted messages and swastikas there. I just thought it was unfortunate that all the people in the community now have to spend their time and resources repairing damage done over the weekend. In New York City, the inside of a subway train taking a similar hit, becoming a canvas for hate, riders scrubbing off the anti-Semitic rant. Light bulb went on. I said, all right, who has who has hand sanitizer? Alcohol will clean this. And just a few weeks ago in Portland, a similar image slathered onto a driveway near Northeast 30th and Gleason. Hate crimes are, are kind of a constant in our society, but there has been an uptick. Randy Blazak is the chair of the Oregon Coalition Against Hate Crimes. I think the, these issues bubble under the surface and they're, you know, politically incorrect speech until someone tells them that that's okay. It's something Blazak says we saw during that grueling election cycle last year, adding it's hard to know just how often they really are happening. And you would argue the numbers we do see may not always be correct. Maybe vastly different. Right. We know hate crimes are hugely underreported, so sort of like sex crimes. Uh, it's just the tip of the iceberg that we get. While reporting, he says, is crucial, so is what comes next. Community response now is based on this idea of not in our town, that the community has to send a strong voice that we don't agree with the people who committed the hate crime. We stand with the victim. And Blazak tells me one study from the Department of Justice reveals hate crimes may be happening 17 times more often than are reported. Others suggest that number could be as high as 25 to 40 times more. Jennifer, Jeff? And we know we put a link to at least one of those stories on coin.com. Cole, correct, yes. thank you for that. Well, we're digging deeper tonight into an 